11 years. It has been 11 years since Devil May Cry 4. And six years since DMC, which was underrated. But we're here. We are here in the promised land. Welcome to Let's Play Devil May Cry 5. Or DMCV, possibly, because Capcom really loves playing with the five Roman numeral and the letter V dichotomy. As evidenced by the V triggers and all the V stuff in Street Fighter V. If you're keeping up with the timeline, this one is set last, so it went 3, 1, 2, 4, and now 5. Oh, this has been a long time coming, and it's good. It's so good. There was a small chance it could have been Devil May Cry 2 all over again, but it's not. It's so, so good, and I hope to show you exactly why it's the new gold standard for Devil May Cry. I am going to be exhaustive in laying out all the little intricacies of this return to stylish action. I'm so excited! We've known each other a long time. You never had this much trouble. You gonna make it through this, Dante? Wasting my time here. He's got this. You should not underestimate this demon. After all, it was he who took your right arm and gained a great deal of power from it. I'm leaving. I suggest you do not fall behind. Interesting guy, but you're right. I've got a score to settle with that son of a bitch. So before we even talk about Nero or V, we're gonna talk about someone else, the old guy from the beginning of that cutscene. That's a character named Morrison. He's from the animated series. They just decided to throw him in here. Oh, this environment's Dante. beautiful. Uh, so this here is Nero. Uh, he is one of the deuteragonists from Devil May Cry 4. If you played that, you might notice he's missing an arm. And sporting a nice stylish new blue coat. Honestly, I, d I adore his redesign in 5. And then there's V, who we'll get to later on. So our very first enemy is this really nasty looking insect. Some of the designs in this game, especially boss designs, are kick-ass. Like, the series no best way. caliber. Uh, but the Impusa, or Impusa, uh, is our very first enemy. Red orbs are just going to be our currency. We'll gain them from defeating enemies and from keeping our style ranks up. This is all stuff that's going to be ancillary, and we'll get around to explaining all of it. But first, just the basic controls and how this is going to function. Uh, so there are three playable characters, Nero and Dante, of course, and newcomer V. Again, we'll get to him later on in, I think it's chapter four, the first time we'll get to play him. Nero is unique in that he keeps two weapons throughout the game and has no styles like Dante. You. Unlike Dante, I should say.
the green ones are so similar to the uh the the healing fly things from monster hunter world <laughs> as like i was saying he has no style system and he has two weapons he's got his gun uh the blue rose which is very punchy and his sword the red queen uh, he'll get an extra tool next mission but for now this is all we have and on top of that the sword has just one attack on him. So he seems, on the surface, really simple. Kind of shallow, even, right? Well, there's a lot going on with those weapons. Hey, got you took off. Do you not understand? We cannot hope to do this without you. That's all right, Superstar. Go on with your best. Go ahead. We got this. Let's talk a little bit about the blue rose. Uh, if you hold the fire button down, it'll charge three shots up. This is similar to the charge attack upgrade you can get in four, except you get to stock some extra charge shots after you let go of the button. That is the bullet UI element below the health bar in the upper left. The only problem with this uh, is that you fire the gun with a negative edge, meaning that it fires upon button release and not button press. So as soon as you let go, it'll deplete one out of the three socks you just charged. Uh, you can see the charge shots again in the upper left. There are ways around that though, and we'll talk about that later. And as we head into this prologue fight, we'll also get acquainted with the Red Queen. Ooh, I love some of this string music. total waste of time after all. Hey, jackass! Did your mother ever teach you it's not nice to steal? <laughs> Sorry, Dante. I'm bagging this bitch. Again, we've started completely in media res. Uh, so we'll get context for some of the things that are happening as we go and we sort of catch up. Uh, so the prologue boss here is actually not really meant to be beaten on the first go around. Uh, this is a fight that you're meant to lose, although, as you can see, you can dodge all of his attacks perfectly fine. You can lay into him. You can do this. And look at that! That's familiar, isn't it? If you play DMC3, uh, that is definitely Quicksilver. Uh, however, we are not going to beat this. In fact, there's a secret ending associated with beating him right here in the prologue. It's kind of your, uh, your vanguard. We are going to let him uh, kill us, though. And then once we get back into it in, in uh, Mission 1, I guess we'll, that's when we'll pick up talking about the Red Queen, because he's going to take a minute just to do the damage necessary. One easy way, if you're just going for the secret ending, which is not super substantial or, I think, even canonical, uh, is just to do this on the unlockable mode post-game, uh, where everything is one-shot. This is a bad 
bad move. I can still fight. No, Go! you're just a weight. Back up. Come on. Oh my God, we must leave here. You are stronger than we ever could have imagined. What happened to Dante? Where's Dante? He's buying time, but it doesn't look good. This can't be happening. Dante lost. Forget it. There's nothing we can do. We must go. Tell me. Tell you what? How does it feel to be rescuing the guy that killed your father? Hey, I'm glad we're getting personal. Well, he abandoned my mother and I and left us for dead. So I feel nothing. Well, he's not exactly going up for Father of the Year Award now, is he? His research wasn't half bad. Came in handy. Probably thank you for that. I have to do that in here. It already smells like ass. That's you. Hey, Nico. Don't lose your tits. I see you.
What's happening? What's going on? <laughs> Like you need a hug. But you're not gonna get one from me. Better get lost. Hey, who are you? Hey, you're gonna get yourself killed! Don't crap yourself. He likes to kill demon things. Let him do his thing. You hear what I said, you dumb one-armed son of a bitch? You're gonna die! Cheer up, crew cut. You taking notes? Most of the game won't be that cutscene heavy, but we have a lot to uh, front load and a lot of exposition and a lot of just really flagrant, gratuitous styling to do on uh, demons. So the Red Queen has its own beautiful little intricacy. Uh, it can be revved up. We've been seeing that for a while now. Uh, this is the Act and Exceed system. <laughs> Having a few controller issues. You hear the USB sound? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't cost me too much. Yeah, he's a real pro at smacking demons around. That's why I built him that well-functioning arm. <laughs> to kick demon ass. Hey, stop bitching and take cover. There's a uh, cutscene desync. Ooh, that's not good. I'll fix that in post, hopefully. Uh, so when the Red Queen is charged, it modifies all of your attacks and moves with more damage. Uh, an extra attack, or extra hits, uh, higher range, different properties on some of your specials. Uh, they're EX moves. And you charge with LT and you can rev it up while running, which is so, so welcome. Right now, we're limited to one charge. It maxes out at three. The other thing that makes Nero such a rhythm monster uh, and one of the best parts about them is you don't need to just rev it up between combos. Uh, if you time the trigger press just as you land a hit, you will fill the stock immediately. It's the best. It is one of the best things about Nero. But it's very, very tough to do consistently. Uh, he's a mechanically very challenging character as are all of them in their own different ways. Uh, all three characters play completely differently and have some really tough stuff to master. That's what makes it so enticing, though. That and the how much freedom you have and how much style you can kind of put out. Now, there's one more thing that we were introduced to in this mission. And it's my favorite part of Nero, even better than uh, the act and the exceed on the Red Queen. It is the new Devil Breaker system. In Devil May Cry 4, he had a demonic arm, which you could do some grabs with. You could uh, snatch enemies. It's kind of like the angel and the demon whips. The prototype for the Angel and Demon Whips, I should say, in DMC that I loved so much. Uh, and that's back. But so much better than it ever was. It was pretty basic. Now in 5, he has a wide assortment of different arms, different Devil Breakers, uh, which all do different things. By the way, when we get four Blue Orb Fragments, of course, they're heart pieces, we'll just get some health up. We'll be finding a bunch of those. We won't be 100%ing that. I don't think there's any real pressing need to. Um, 
<laughs> God, I love the Devil Breakers. We have uh, three overtures stocked right now. That's really the only arm we have available to us at this present moment. We will get a bunch more. A whole kitten caboodle. What a lovely house plant. Now I get it. Who brought the marshmallows? Because I'm bringing the fire. So universally. Your, uh, your Devil Breakers have a grounded attack. For Overture, it's that big lightning palm, that palm strike attack that's super cool. Um, they usually have an air attack. They have a charged attack that will destroy the arm, and sometimes a different charged air attack. Also, hitting LB will destroy the arm, but it will get you out of danger and knock enemies back. The other important note about Devil Breakers is they get destroyed if you're using an attack with them and then you take a hit. That's what the cutscene before was trying to show. They're fragile. Uh, as for avoiding damage, you do not block in Devil May Cry. That's some uh, non-stylish bullshit. You manage crowds, and if you're about to get hit, you tap lock on, swing the stick a direction, and hit A for a dodge roll. Alternatively, your jump has I frames. So make liberal use of that. Also, Dante has a parry. Hey, tough guy. That'll keep him, but not for long. What do you mean? Soldier Boy said city's gone to hell and back, taken over by the underworld. Not just here, but everywhere. Yamato yeah, did this. Why do I feel like your pet mechanic? Don't get used to it. Nico, I showed you those order docs. So you still owe me, remember? Hey, you two! Dinner's ready! Be right there! Hey, why don't you go ahead? I'm gonna finish up here. <sighs> I'll try to save you some. Not. You need something? Uh, what is it? You hungry? <laughs> well, you're in luck, pal, because food's ready and Kitty A always makes too much. Hope you like loud talkers, too, because got a pair of those upstairs. You see something you like. What the hell? You a demon? He's waiting for us up ahead. Try not to get us killed on the way there.
next time we are going to talk about upgrades new moves for nero nico and some other really cool stuff as we head through mission two thank you all for watching like comment subscribe go to the patreon at patreon.com slash subscribe do all this stuff in the description thank you all for watching take it easy have a good one i'm so excited to be doing this